Imam Hussein and his family were thirsty on the day of Ashura. Can you tell me a bit more? They didn't. They didn't have any water, and they were really thirsty. They were thirsty for three days. Um, they were Yazid's army blocked Imam Hussein's camp from from, get, from River Farat, and they weren't allowed to get go get any more water. Imam Hussein got killed, but he wanted water. Because the, the bread, um, Yazid's army blocked off the water supply for them. Um, um, they were thirsty. They didn't have water for seven days. Um, it's, it's very sad that they couldn't have water for a long time. And also baby Elias, he was like a six month old baby, but he still um, went to, he still wanted to go and fight. Um, for for um, um, Islam, and he got he got shot in the chest. They and they didn't they didn't fight for the water, um, because then we would think that the battle was about water. They fought for Allah to show that that um, you should believe in Allah, and that um, they fought for for us to show us. They didn't just fight for the water. Even though they were really thirsty, even baby Alyaska died from thirst. Yazid didn't let them drink water for three whole days. Do you know what it's like to be thirsty? No. Yes. Yeah, we. But in Sometimes fast, we're thirsty. like when a really hot day in the fast. But it's we, but it's okay. really hard to stay like thirsty for that long. Yeah, and in the extremely hot plains of Karbala. And he went to the river bank to get some water for Imam Hussein and his family. And so he got he he had his sack, he filled up um his sack with pure water. And one of the imams um went to get water and um um Bad Has, people were... Hazrat Abbas. Hazrat Abbas was um, getting water. Yazid was saying to one of his soldiers or his, um, or his commander that um, we cannot let um, Hazrat Abbas go and give water to Imam Hussein and... Uh, and um, the bad people were Yazid's um, cutting their arms off and then he would hold it with his neck and then, and then they cut his head off and then he died. First of all, they cut his, um, they cut one of his arm off, and then he knew from the other person that the other person was going to cut his arm off. So he put his, um, called, he holded his sack in his teeth, and uh, uh, and he had to hold the alum on the horse as well. And he dropped the water, and he didn't go, go back and give it to them. Um, unfortunately, they succeeded and then cut his other arm off, and then still, but Abu Fazl d d didn't. He was a strong man, a really strong man, and he was still walking until they got his, his arrow and went through his chest, and then went through his chest, and then yeah. Yeah. So and then he fell off the horse, and then the ladies in the tent um um like started to know what happened. And, and so then they start crying and then Imam Hussein came and yeah. <laughs>